Let's talk about how to supersize your business by being a spitting image. Sharon Horn Elsom here. These little ducks are spitting images of one another. This idiom, this expression has been around at least in English since 1689 when George Farquhar, I think that's how you pronounce his name, used it in his play Love and a Bottle. I am personally not familiar with that play, but you may be. Uh, what it means, spitting image, means it's an allusion to someone who is so like somebody else that they looks like they could have been spat out of that person's mouth. So you might be the spitting image of your mom or the spitting image of your dad uh, or the spitting image of somebody or something that you resemble, that you look a lot alike. So what does this mean? What does this mean to us in supersizing and growing our business? Well, I contend that we want to model people that have successfully done what we want to do before if we want to grow and supersize and build our business. So we need to pick and decide and choose not maybe an exact company that we want to model, but maybe different businesses from different industries and different aspects of what they're doing that can help us to grow and build our business faster. Uh, one of the things I learned early in my corporate career and early in my life was that I could get huge jumps, leaps and bounds in my career in terms of moving my financial income and the amount of vacation I had and the other benefits that I could negotiate by switching businesses and switching industries. I pretty much was in manufacturing throughout my corporate career, but by switching from industry to industry, I went from toilet paper manufacturing with Procter & Gamble to uh, print and publishing and the manufacturing side of print and publishing. And by making that switch, I made a $40,000 signing bonus plus almost triple what I was making in my job at Procter & Gamble. And I learned early on that by switching companies and learning things from different industries that a lot of what we know, a lot of our skills and abilities and, and strategies are transferable, right? The things that we learn aren't just applicable to one job, one industry, one business, they can be applied to a lot of different industries and a lot of different businesses. And a lot of times if we take something that we learned in one industry and we apply it to another industry, it can be used to our benefit and the other people in our industry aren't aware of that strategy because they all come up in their same industry. If I'm in the financial industry and I've always been in the financial industry, I have a set of thoughts, feelings, beliefs about the financial industry. If I'm in manufacturing, I have a set of beliefs and I've always been in manufacturing. I have a set of, set of beliefs and strategies and, and the way things should be done, ideas, and if I've never been in another industry, I don't realize necessarily, I don't even see that other things are possible. So modeling is a terrific way to find out what's possible for us and to supersize and quickly grow our business. We can find processes and procedures and strategies and frameworks that other people have used and apply them to our business. So who do you look up to? Who do you model and why? Share in the comments below who you want to be and maybe it's just in one area or aspect, the spitting image of. I would like to be the spitting image of Apple's customer loyalty and customer fandom. They are one of the best examples of people that either love and will buy everything Apple makes. I want to create that in my business. So that would be an example for me. So what business or brands do you admire? What do you, who do you look up to and why? Share those in the comments below. Uh, I guess I picked ducks today because of the saying, if it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, if it waddles like a duck, it's probably a duck. And I think the same is true when it comes to our businesses and what we do and do not want to model. If it looks wrong and it feels wrong to you, it's probably wrong for you. But if it looks good and it, it feels good and right to you, test it out and try it in your business and see if it doesn't help you to grow in the direction you want to faster and easier than you ever even imagined. Love to hear your experience with this particular idiom, spitting image. I heard spitting image a lot growing up, just like uh, chip off the old block we talked about a couple of days ago with respect to our relationship idioms, because I do look like my father and I do look I don't look much like my mom, but I look a lot like my dad and his side of the family. So I heard a lot, oh, you're the spinning image of your grandma. You're in, and my grandma passed away when I was like two or three, three, I think. I was three when she passed away. But I definitely am a spinning image of her. All right. 
If I can help you in any way, if there's a relationship well-being or a relationship-related idiom that you would love to know the meaning and the origin of and how we could apply it to building and growing our business, just ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow with another relationship-related idiom for the month of June. Have a great day.